got to get that breakfast. Put 350. 135. No. How do I change this? Yo, I'm not trying to tip $135. $3. 3. Boom. Okay, good. Fucking seamless is getting tricky. I almost tipped the guy $135. I got one dog here. And the big guy in the corner. Yeah, show him your tongue. Guys, so I go, wow, this is what I look like. Okay, good. What is this hair? I have like a Donald Trump comb over. Oh boy. Anyway, I did all my Christmas shopping. That's why there's boxes all over my room. But I did all my Christmas shopping and yesterday I wrapped all my gifts and it was like, I think it's, this is the second time I've ever tried to wrap a Christmas gift. So they look like shit. I'm good at the first half, but I can't get the corners to fold the way I want. So it just, it looks fucking, it looks bad. But anyway, I went on Amazon and I bought something for my mom and it said at checkout, like, is this a gift? And I was like, yeah, they sent it in this big fucking Santa uh, bag here. So I just put all my gifts in there. So all the shopping I did, look, look, see, like these look good. Like this, like the tops look good, but I promise the bottom looks like shit. Look at this one. See, this is what the bottoms look like. <laughs> it's all fucked up. What's up, buddy? Say good morning. Good morning. He does not want to be outside. Dude, go pee. Okay. All right. Jesus, don't break the door down. What? <laughs> All right, I'll hug you, okay? Thank God I woke up at a decent hour today because yesterday um, was my, come on. Yesterday I woke up at like 10.30, which never happens. I always wake up at like eight o'clock, but I woke up at 10.30 and literally didn't do <laughs> Can I talk? I literally didn't do anything until like 3 p.m. Felt like the biggest piece of shit. So today I'm up early. Well, it's not early anymore, but I did wake up early and I got some things done. It's 10 o'clock now. My food is on the way. After I eat, I'm gonna go to the gym. Then I gotta make a video. Okay, time the fuck out. I just got my food from the guy. He just delivered my food. And you know how they give you ketchup packets in the fucking order? Mine say in and out Burger. This isn't fucking California, kid. What's going on? Where's my regular Heinz? in and out Burger ketchup. What is this garbage? What is this garbage? By the way, I'll be the first one to say this. in and out Burger is overrated. I know the West Coast is like, what? Oh my God, no, it's the best. No, it's not. It fucking sucks. Well, it doesn't suck. It's fast food. It's all good. And it'll all make you die quicker, but... It's just not better than McDonald's or Taco Bell for that matter. I remember the first time I went to LA, I, I like went out of my way to get in and out burger. I was like, oh, I gotta get this. I've heard so much about it. I got there and I got my burger and I was like, this is just, you know, it's not anything crazy. On the way to the gym right now, I cannot be more or less excited. Does that make sense? Cannot be more or less excited? I can't be less excited. I hate the place. This is what I'm trying to say, okay? Jesus, no parking, of course. Trying to find parking around here is like trying to find a dildo in a church. It's fucking impossible. I bet you it takes me at least 25 minutes to find parking. At least. I was wrong. 18 minutes. Fucking joke. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go to the gym now. So like some stuff happens. I went to the gym. I went home. I showered. And now we're here. Right now I have to clean the place because it's a fucking pigsty. There's shit everywhere. By the way, pizza socks. Look at these bad bitches. And yes, I'm wearing slippers and socks. I know, that's like a cardinal sin apparently on Twitter. It's comfortable, okay? But right now, I'm gonna get started on uh, the video, then edit that, upload that, and then I have to take some pictures for the McGee Closet site. So basically, today I'm gonna be a fake model. I gotta applaud models because that's like the most, it's the weirdest thing ever to do a photo shoot. I did one in my entire life and it was the fucking weirdest thing. You're standing there, and a guy with a camera is just taking pictures of you. No matter what, you, you you could stand there like this the entire time. He will take pictures of you for an hour. But you're supposed to pose and do different shit. And I don't know how to like be cool or like look like, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. It was just so uncomfortable. And like, God, those pictures were awful. I was like, oh Jesus Christ. The guy was a really good photographer, but I'm saying like, just, I, it wasn't me at all. Today though, I'm just gonna take a picture with the X hat on, um, so I could 
just show people how to, what it looks like on people's heads. I'll put that on the site maybe, or like on Instagram or some shit. Oh, go follow it on Instagram, at the McGee Closet also. I pray to God that I have a nail clipper in here because I don't know if I bought one though. Yes! Oh, thank you, you bitch. I was in my house for fucking 30 minutes looking for the nail clipper. And there was, it was nowhere to be found. And no one knows where it is. The next time I find the nail clipper, I'm gonna put a string around it and nail it to the countertop so no one can take it away. It's gonna be like a pen in a bank. Like you can't move it. Because it just, uh, what are people doing with it? They're using the nail clippers and then just fucking walking over and just hiding it behind shit. Like what are you doing with it? I'm doing a video on like these, <laughs> these questions I found on Yahoo. And some people ask the dumbest shit. <laughs> Someone said, is it okay, is it okay to boil headphones? I let my younger brother use my headphones and he used them for evil. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, so I was editing the video that I shot earlier and then I uploaded it to the internet and now we're here. Okay, so I finished the video and I put that out. It's 11 o'clock now. Uh, I already took the pictures that I was talking about before. Uh, I was gonna vlog that, but it's so fucking weird that I didn't want anyone to watch me doing it Cuz I just I don't like it, but I'm gonna show you the two pictures. I call this one Little sad emo boy Okay, and this one I Honestly don't know what the fuck it is. I told you it's it's so weird. I don't like it. It's just You know, but it's something that I gotta do. Which one do you like for the site this one? Or that one. Depression or douchebag? You let me know in the comments. This has got to be one of the worst vlogs I've ever made. Nothing eventful happened, honestly. It was just me talking to a camera the entire time. But this is what usually my Tuesdays are like. I just drive from my house to the studio and sit here all day and just, you know, work on shit. And then for the rest of the days, it's kind of the same. And I know I've been talking about it a lot in these past two vlogs or whatever, but I'm really excited about this merch thing just because it's a new thing. Like I love just having new shit that isn't, you know, because when I put out videos, like now it's to the point where I'm, I'm kind of like spoiled where I'll put out a video and it'll get 100,000 views in an hour, which is absurd. And like, you know, that's, all good and it's an established thing and I just have to keep it going and I know what it takes to keep it going so I have to keep doing that. I can't slack off otherwise we'll see a dip. Uh, but I just like like new shit. Like when I started Veterans Minimum like they would only get a hundred like listens or like 50 listens or something and now they're up, they're getting thousands of listens now. And now this merch thing is cool because it's just a brand new thing and uh, I'm trying to figure out ways to market it, and I don't want it to stay just a regular, you know, just ordinary uh, merch shop. Like, I want to take the steps, or like, I have to start somewhere, so I have these shirts and the hat, and then I want to take it to the point where it's actually cool clothing, and hopefully one day, none of it will pertain to me. It'll just be a cool clothing line. Uh, company a clothing company i'm just rambling at this point but i mean that's my whole plan with this honestly is i wanted to start it as merch because people ask me uh for merch and stuff that you know the people who watch my videos and me we can kind of relate to because we have inside jokes with the videos or whatever um but you know eventually i really want to start getting into that because i do have you know a friend who's very into the fashion world and fashion and shit like that. I've always talked to him about, you know, him using his talents or whatever. So maybe one day we can collab and, you know, push this, you know, to the next step and really st I'm on my Kanye shit now. Like, I, I want to come out with a clothing line. <laughs> yeah, I'm just rambling at this point, but I mean, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm probably not going to get to sleep until like 2 a.m. today just because I'll be up doing all kinds of shit. Um, this whole place is a fucking mess too. I need to clean this place, but not tonight. T too tired. But anyway, that's all for this vlog. Uh, I'm gonna try to vlog it a lot more now. I promise, okay? I'm trying- I'm gonna try and stick to it for at least a month. Not every day, but just, you know, to a week maybe? I'll try. We'll see. You gotta spread the word about it, alright? And I'll see you next time. <laughs>